Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another vlog this week. Lucky you, you get two vlogs and that is because guys, if you are not up to date with the news or if you are new to my channel, I have just bought myself a new horse, um, Ember. He is a eight-year-old x-race horse off the track last February. If you want to be up to speed, I recommend going to watch my last vlog, which I published on Monday so that you can get his full backstory and basically I'm currently in the arena because I'm setting up a little bit of pole work for us to do tonight before it gets too dark. My plan is to hopefully, fingers crossed all going well, turn him into a little eventer. He's definitely got the right attitude and um, he has definitely got the pizzazz I think. Um, we just need a little bit more, well, he just needs to, he needs, needs to learn, um, which is why we're starting little by little, building things up gradually as we go. I'm having um, a lesson a week with Justine at the moment, and yeah, because, I mean, I've had him a month. He has been a secret for a month, but he's only just been revealed to you. Um, so... Yeah, so I've set up some pole work today. You won't see this because I've got no one here to film me. However, instead, I do have for you today a little look back at a couple of things. So after the first time I rode Ember, I asked Justine if I could take him uh, to arena hire. That was for literally no reason at all. At this point, I really didn't realize that I was going to want to buy him. Um, I just wanted to take him to an arena hire because I thought well, he's got lovely paces and uh, he might do a lovely dressage test is what I was thinking. So off we went. We went to our local arena, Forest Edge Arena um, and hired a long arena, all the dressage boards, everything, the works. And uh, well, I'm just going to show you how he got on and see what you guys think. Ember's Glow, doing dressage with Lucy Robinson. Yeah, looks good. And just see on the circle if you can just send the trot on a little bit and then bring it back a bit. So, it, I mean, he won't have done medium trot, but just so that that's it and then bring it back. Boy. And again. Lad. And a walk transition. Back into trot. No. But that frame is worse. I want him to take the frame down. Yeah.
Lovely square halt. Yeah. 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 Looks good. Looks nice. Now, do I try and see worse? Yeah. Keep that outside rain. That's better there. It's not, it's, it doesn't look overbent, but I know what feeling you've got because he's just probably sitting a little bit behind the contact. Yeah. Um, he doesn't look overbent, so I think just to keep that leg on, to try and push him to the contact, and and keep doing what you're doing. Oh boy, keep that. That's it. That's it. That's better there. Good boy. Good boy. It was good because he he sort of sorted himself out. Down, down, good lad. Yeah, really wrap the thighs round. Good boy. That's better. Good lad. So I think you can see why I liked him so much. He literally did not bat an eyelid at anything. It was incredible. So after that, that was the point where I thought, well, I really like this horse and he's going to be something special. So um, yeah, and that's when Justine said that she was selling him and I said, okay, I'll buy him. So that was that. That was what Sign Seal delivered. So then I bought him. Yay, <laughs> as you do. Um, and yeah, it's still kind of just about sunk in now that I've got four horses. Lots of people are concerned about my um, my timings, how I can fit three, no, riding, yeah, three horses. I don't ride Bonnie, obviously. Riding four horses in the day. Now, I tend to, at the moment, I'm riding Lara and Harry in the morning, but I am hacking at the moment Lara and leading Harry, and then I will kind of alternate whoever I need to ride more, basically. Um, so, but because Lara's just in walk work at the moment, Harry's quite happy just to poodle out. And to be fair, Harry doesn't actually need to do that much. Like, he's fit and he's well. So it's just a case of keep him, keeping him moving, really. 
um, and then having a lesson on him once a week. Lara doesn't need lessons yet. Um, and then in the evenings I come over because now it's light enough so I can just literally tack up, bring him in here or take him for a hack around the farm because they've got beautiful hacking around here, very lucky. And yeah, so that's how I fit it in basically. I just don't have a life apart from that. Oh look, look who's behind me, there he is. Okay, so next, basically Justine, my trainer, said to me, Lucy, I think we should do a jump clinic with um, a chap called John Adams. Now John Adams has got a bit of a reputation around here, he's called Jumping John, and I've never had a lesson with Jumping John before, but I've heard, I heard very, very good things, so I was very keen to think, okay, fine, my horse is a flat, ex-flat racer. Um, however, I do know that he can jump and obviously I popped him over a cross pole when I first ever sat on him and he was keen. He showed, you know, he, he liked jumping. So I thought, yeah, let's, t let's go. If you're going to be a vent pony, we're going to have to jump some show jumps, not just cross country fences. So I'm going to pass back to myself when I... I'm not gonna lie guys, I did think I was going to have someone there to film me, um, but I wasn't that organised. <laughs> so a lovely lady who was there with someone else took a few videos on her, my phone and her phone, because then my phone died. God, I'm so disorganised. Uh, so apologies about the quality, um, but I'm gonna do a voiceover, just so you can kind of see what was going on at the time in terms of yeah, in terms of what I was feeling, what I was feeling from him, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm in a lorry with Justine, yay! And today we've come to up oh, north, north, Norfolk, to um, to Better Market with our horses, <laughs> Ember. And uh, Justine's got Brody. So we're going to do, what are we doing? A John Adams jump jumping clinic. Jumping clinic. Now this is the first, well, apart from one tiny crossbow, this is the first time that I would have jumped him. Probably. Yes. Uh, and it, it, it'll be the first time he's jumped down some grids and things like that, so. Hopefully it's gonna start with, because he's quite weird with pole work. He'll well, be he fine. he doesn't really get it. Anyway, he'll, get, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. So, um, literally, just about to get on and I'm going to try and find a cost someone to try and film me because I'm unprepared and didn't bring anyone else with me. Obviously Justine's going to be riding so. Are you going to be warm enough? No I'm getting my coat on which is in there. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> right out, out you go Fig. I'll put you in a Definitely minute. Not yeah no it's enough. freezing here. It's absolutely freezing. So um yeah so the horses are in here. So it is so windy it's absolutely freezing um but I'm looking forward to it because I've always wanted to go on one of these John Adams clinics because I've heard very good things from other from other people. Um, so yeah, it's gonna get the pony out. Oh, there he is. Hello, Mister. Sponsored by Tigger Saddlery. Tigger Saddlery. Very old coat. Oh, hello, mate. We're gonna do some jumping. Yeah, I'm gonna put on you first. So you can see as I'm warming Ember up here, I'm just trying my hardest to get him to relax. You can see the difference from him here uh, compared to the dressage outing because he's seeing all these jumps. He's getting very excited. He has obviously seen cross poles and bits of show jumps before so he does know what jumping involves so it just takes me a little longer just to try and persuade him to relax but I'm just keeping soft hands and keeping my leg on and just basically trying my hardest to keep his little brain thinking because he's so very clever um, but also I'm not sure if he's worked too much in an arena with other horses before and there was two three other horses in here today so this was our first try um, at a little jump so it's this tiny little cavaletti and you can see him just working his feet out there so let's give that same clip a watch so on the approach obviously keeping it to trot giving him time to 
see the fence and just work things out. Keeping my hands low and soft, probably could have been a bit softer there, but I had no idea what kind of jump he was going to do, but absolutely fine on the second part. I think really good first attempt. So the second attempt, as you can see now, he's really, he's really quite buzzy here. Um, so this is where I just have to keep my leg on and start looking for my fence early. As I said before, just give him as much time as possible, keeping to trot, a little bit better there, and whoa, I got absolutely fired out the saddle there. This action replay, bless him, he did so well. So then I was instructed to pick up canter, uh, which is definitely our weakest uh, pace at the moment. We just are doing lots of flat work, working on that. Um, so did the first part, and then the second part had changed. He didn't really have enough time to assess it. As you can see there, I'm just saying, don't worry, Amber. Give him a little pat on the neck. I think John actually pops it back down now. Um, but he's a little bit worked up. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I've just had a run out. But trying to keep calm. And oh, then we run out the other way. So I think at this stage, we think, okay, don't worry about it. Let's just go back to trot and see if we can pop through again, which he does actually really really sweetly so we have picked up the canter again and i think john was just trying to get me just to be a bit more committed because we know that he can do it and look at him go absolutely flying um back to trot here i think that's because it's changed again so one two oh yeah he's added another fence but look straight as a die absolutely spot on there here it is again slowed down i think if I can just get my hands, I just need to trust him a little bit more now that I know that, you know, he's straight. And just to relax a bit, I think from my end. Oh, little finger on the lens. <laughs> look at his little flicky legs come into it. Now he knows what he's doing. He's like, yeah, mum, I got this. Oh, look, and another fence in the equation. So this was the last uh, line that we did before we actually did some other fences, but sadly I didn't get them on camera, which is really shame because he did really start to relax after this. But this is the last one that we did. Pop, 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 and little oxer at the end to finish with. Look at you checking this out. Who <laughs> was a clever boy today? Did you enjoy that? Did you have fun? Yeah. Just had a little sponge off. Oi. Just had a little sponge off. Oh, good boy. Yeah, you're done now. You get a day off tomorrow. Because you are so good. So good, yeah. Ta da! That was our very first jump clinic, and I think. I think he did really, really well, considering he's never done anything like that before, ever. Um, and I think when I started to relax a bit, um, knowing, you know, that the worst he was going to do was just slip out to one side of the fence. Um, and I got my kind of head in the game because before, obviously, I haven't ridden a horse like this ever really it's a bit of a learning curve for me as well and uh, far from perfect and i hold my hands up to that however there was lots to like from him and i'd say from me as well um firstly for just kind of going out there and doing it because jumping is quite show jumping is i would say my least favorite phase i would say over the years of lara being a bit hit and miss it has knocked my confidence a bit um but I feel like I'm slowly getting it back. So hopefully I can send all the positive vibes to Ember and um, yeah, onwards and upwards. So I think for a first outing, for two first outings, he was a super, super, superstar. Anyway, he's behind me. It's getting dark. Where is he? Where are you? There he is. He's actually heading to the gate, dream. Um, and I need to get a crack on otherwise I'm going to be doing pole work in the dark which is not going to help them very much so guys um, I hope you enjoyed this little update vlog um, next week on Monday same time as usual 7pm we'll be back for 
Are you ready for this? Ember's first ever dressage competition. I've already done that. I've already filmed it. It's filmed, it's done, it's ready to go. Please make sure you tune in, subscribe to my channel, don't miss it. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave me a comment. How do you think he's getting on? Um, and I'll see you guys, see you guys on Monday. Have a good a weekend, bye!